I look who's trying to be brave without an umbrella again. You really love making things difficult for yourself, don't you? Or maybe you just like the idea of me coming to rescue you. You know, for someone who always acts put together, you're surprisingly bad at planning for bad weather. Lucky for you, I've got enough room under this umbrella, so unless you want to catch a cold, I suggest you get over here. Hmm? Being alone and being lonely, they're not the same, you know. I bet you figured that one out, haven't you? So, here's the thing. People think I'm always surrounded by friends. Always laughing. Always being the tough girl who doesn't need anyone, but, but sometimes being surrounded by people doesn't exactly make the loneliness go away. Do you ever feel that way? Like, no matter how many people are surrounded by us, it's like you're not really with anyone. Sorry. I guess... It is kind of a deep question. The rain kind of makes me vulnerable sometimes. <laughs> Listen. I know I'm not exactly the nicest person to you. Maybe that's because I'm jealous of how you seem to handle everything so well. Even when you're by yourself, I just... I guess I always thought you don't mind being alone. But when I saw you sitting in lecture today, you had that look on your face. Like, you know, um, the one that says, I'm content with my own peace. But I could tell that you were lying. That you weren't really content with it. You were just as lonely as I was, weren't you? I'm sorry if it made it worse. Kind of feels like I called you out, didn't I? I know I can be mean sometimes. Okay. A lot of the time. But that's just because I don't know how to deal with these feelings. It's stupid. It, it really is. But I thought if I could make you notice me, even if it's in a bad way, maybe I wouldn't feel so invisible. Well, you're not invisible to me. You know, you never were. It's weird, isn't it? How can you be around so many people and still feel like nobody really sees you? I thought if I acted tough, if I kept pushing people away, then maybe I wouldn't have to deal with getting hurt, but it just made me feel even more alone. And there was no one else to blame but me. Hey, do not think that this means that I am going soft on you or anything. I am still going to give you a hard time. It's kind of our thing, right? Listen, I know I've been a jerk to you, but I want you to know that I don't hate you. I kind of like you more than I want to admit. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to admit is I don't want to be alone anymore, and I don't think you do either. And maybe we don't have to. So, would it be so bad if we tried being less lonely together? I know it's a lot to ask for after everything I've done, after all the times I've pushed you away, and after all the times I've teased you. But I am willing to try if you are. 
You're the only one that I've ever wanted to be around more than often. And that's saying so much because of how often I bully you and tease you. But... You're the only one that I've ever wanted to be around, so... I know it's a lot to ask for. Even if it's just for today, even if it's just until the rain stops, can we pretend, just for a little while, that neither of us are alone? Come on, I... I won't bite, I promise. Unless you're into that kind of thing. Honestly, wait, you kind of seem like a type to be into that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, whatever. Do not smile at me like that. God, you're annoying. <laughs> Can I ask you something? It might be a bit of a personal question. And you can be honest, I promise I won't tease you this time. When you were sitting alone in lecture today, and you looked... You looked like you really wanted to be left alone, but at the same time it seemed like you were waiting for someone. Was it because you needed a break from everyone, or... You, you know, what was it? Hmm. Mm -hmm, I understand. Sometimes I sit in crowded places just so I don't have to be alone with my own thoughts, but it doesn't always help. Really. It's like, even with all the noises around me, there's still that emptiness that never really goes away. And I thought I was the only one that felt like that. Honestly, it made me feel like a really weird person. <laughs> Do you feel like that too? Or am I just projecting my stuff onto you? <clears throat> Sorry. I'm not used to talking about this kind of stuff. Not with anyone, really. Normally I just kind of keep it bottled up and pretend that everything's okay. But I don't really want to pretend anymore. Not with you, at least. I don't want to pretend like I don't care, babe, because in truth, I do. And this might come as shocking to admit, but I care about you a lot, even if I've got a really messed up way of showing it. I'm not saying I'm going to be perfect overnight. I've got a lot of issues to work on. And... If you're willing to give me a chance to try to be better, I want to be someone that you can rely on. Someone that you don't have to keep your guard up around. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm surprised that you're never really annoyed with me, you know? I tease you a lot. I would think that you would get tired of it at some point. <laughs> I've always been scared of getting close to people. It's like... Hmm. It's like the more that you care, the more it hurts when things go wrong. But maybe... I'm starting to see that it's worth it? <laughs> Even if it's messy and complicated, at least it's real. And I want to try being real with you. No more hiding behind the tough words or just mean jokes. I want to be myself with you. And I want to feel like you can do the same for me. So what do you think? Can we try this out or what? <laughs> I just want to be honest about how I feel with you. And I'll keep trying for you. No matter how lonely it gets for me. <laughs> <laughs> 